So a few of you have been asking how the wiring works on Max, and if I could explain a bit more about where the wires go. So I thought I'd make a video. Okay, so let's show you the wiring on Max. So here's the brain module. And all the wires going into the back of that. There's five wires. If I unplug more for you, it's a bit tricky to show you at the same time, but I'm going to pull them out and show you where they went. Be super careful not to. There you go. Right. So, as you can see, behind the brain module, there's a whole load of wires. And each of those wires has a certain place that goes on the back of this. As you can see, there's, there's uh, four slots, one, two, three, four, and the fifth one is the battery. So as you, as you probably saw in my step-by-step -step video, I labelled the four wires, the simple sticker system, so that I knew instantly which slot they needed to go back in. Okay, so, so this, for example, is number one, and that goes in slot labelled number one, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the wiring works, what, what each wire, where each wire goes. Okay, so let's move those wires out of the way so you can see a bit more clearly. Okay. So if I zoom in. Okay, see that? Yeah. Okay, so the wire labelled number one comes out of the right wheel motor this white box here. Um, so this, so the, wire, the wire coming out of the right box with the white end is number one. There's a second wire that comes out of the right wheel motor with a black end. You see that back there? Let's zoom right in. Let's focus on that, that's a bit better. Right. So, if we ignore that wire, See, there's two wires coming out of the right wheel box motor, this white thing down here. The one with the white end is number one, and the one with the black end connects to the white wire coming out of the other, the left wheel motor. Okay, so ignore this wire, you see that? Okay, so the wire labelled number two, you see that? That comes down like that. Just simply comes down. Show you. It's the wire with the white connector coming out of the neck motor. The neck motor is what I call uh, the one that makes Max heads to do that and that. So that's number two. There's a second wire that comes out of the neck motor. This one here. Zoom. The one with the black connector connects to the hand. If we trace that wire down, you see that the, the black connector coming out of the neck attaches to this wire. And that goes through a little hole here and into the hand. So let's show you. This wire here, this wire here, goes through a little gap here, and then right. So the hand connects up to the black wire, the black ended wire coming out of the neck. Okay, let's move on to number three. Wire number three, here we go. Wire number three. Okay, so wire number three, I've hooked behind here for a bit of a, a tidy. If we spin it round, it basically goes into the face panel face panel. Okay, it so basically just shoots down here. 
that's wire number three. And then wire number four is this one. See that? Okay, wire number four is really simple. Basically comes out of the motion sensor on the front of Max. Okay. Wire number four. Okay, and the final connector is the battery. I'll show you. So on the back of Max, we've got the battery box, we've got a wire coming out here, or a couple of wires should I, I should say, and that goes to that connector. That's the battery connector. I'll show you here, it goes into that one. Okay, so let's connect it all up. Okay, so let's recap the, the numbers. You've got one wheel connects to the other wheel, and the, 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 the other wheel is number one. It's the first wire. Number two comes down from the neck motor, motor at the back. Just number two. The hand connects the black connector into the, that comes out of the neck. Number three connects to the face, and number four is the motion sensor. The last one, obviously, is the battery. As, a, as you can see why I've labelled them, because it makes it just really easy to know which wire goes in which when you pull them out and have to put them back in. Right, so let's see if we can put them back in. I'll we'll probably do it back to the front. Let's find the battery. It goes in like that. So you hear a click. Number four. You'll notice the way they've been shaped. Can you see that? There's only one way they can go in. There's a little groove on the top. That goes, that's number four. Basically you just you basically push it in. Can you see that as far as it goes. Just about there. So if you're having problems, just make sure they're fully seated in the slot, like that. Looks like Max is waking up. There seems to be a problem with port one. Please make sure that only my feed motors are plugged into port one. There seems to be a problem with port two. Please make sure that only my claw and head servos are plugged into port two. There seems to be a problem with port three. Please make sure that only my LED matrix is plugged into port three. Okay, so you can see from that that Max realises which ports he's having problems with. Let's switch him off, we didn't want to switch him on. That was a useful example. Okay, this is number three. Number two. So I'm, I'm just using my nails just to make sure they're fully pushed in. Make sure the battery's pushed in. Make sure this looks. Yeah, and then you push it. And there we have it. There's Max. All wired up. Show you the back again, see how it all connects. And that's just a jumble of wires underneath. Okay, so the final proof to see that I've uh, see if we've wired it up correctly. Let's switch it on.
Hey Max! Yo, what up? Okay, so it looks like uh, Max is fully functional. You didn't mention anything about the ports not being correct. He's responding to my voice. Let's see if he responds to that. Vegetables grow in the garden. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's for it for now. Um, I'll see you in another video.